Have you ever had a thought of having a soulmate? Well, I've been thinking about this a lot lately. And it makes me wonder if there's somebody out there waiting for me to sweep them off their feet. Damn, that's corny. But you get what I mean though. Honestly, I believe in love, having a soulmate, marriage, and all other wholesome things that Gen Z doesn't believe in anymore. There's a lot I can say on that, but that's not the focus of today's video. Today's video is all about soulmates. I always wondered how many people really believe that they have soulmates. So, I put up an Instagram poll just to get an estimate of how many people believe in that. And I was kinda shocked that only 44% really think that they have soulmates out there. And the other 56% ain't really about it. That wasn't enough research. So I decided to just go to the public and find out for myself. And this is how everything went. Do you guys have soulmates? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> At some point, like everyone does have someone, you know. I have a boyfriend of five years, so yes. No. Maybe more than one. How would you know if somebody is your soulmate? Because, guys, even though we cheat on each other, we still come back, so... I don't know how I would know. I either would, or I wouldn't. I think you just have that feeling when you just click with somebody. But you can click with somebody that you date with. Do you think most people that are in relationships are with their soulmates or do they settle for what they get? I feel like they probably settle. If you're not with your ex, then you're settling. <laughs> <laughs> I think some people are in relationships just so that they don't have to be alone. So what's the best way to break up with somebody? In person. Whatever you prefer, over text, in person. I do it over text because I, I can't look you in the eye and be like, yeah. In person and nicely. Hey, what's good, guys? It's your boy Mukabelo. You know what it is. Uh, yeah, I'm out here at Picnic and Drift. So today I'm gonna be a wholesome. This is a wholesome video. So you just gotta take it slow. You just gotta take it slow. So basically, I'm gonna be asking people about soulmates. Yeah, if they have soulmates, if they think they have soulmates, and yeah, I'm just gonna play around that and see what happens. Hey, what's good? I'm out here. What? Uh, Wupe. Lungelo. Lungelo. So. Um, do you guys have soulmates? Like, do I have like a soulmate? Right now, yeah. um, Not even right now, like, maybe out there. Do you believe, like, you have one out there? Um, yeah, I feel like at some point, like, everyone does have someone, you know. Mm -hmm. Or well, not even one person, it can be many people, but every person does have some people. That's all, like. I'm not sure if I believe in soulmates. For okay. real. Do you believe in it? I believe that you'll find someone that's right for you at that point in your life. Okay. But I don't know if, like, soulmate, like, you're eternally binded and shit, like, I don't know. I don't know. But I don't have one. Mm. I have a boyfriend of five years, so yes. No. <laughs> Undecided. <laughs> yeah, mate. You think there's somebody out there for you? Sure there is. <laughs> no. Why not? Okay, well, it depends what you mean by soulmate. There are many people who I feel like I connect with on a very deep level, but I'm not dating any of them. I mean my friends, like in a platonic way. Okay, so I either don't have a soulmate or I have many soulmates, depending on how you define it. Okay, maybe somebody that you wanna be what? Like, sexually? Like, for the rest of your life? No. You don't? I don't. So you don't think there's somebody out there for you? It's not that I don't think there's someone for me. I'm just asking. I just haven't met them. <laughs> so, do you guys have soulmates? <laughs> yes, okay. Yeah. Okay. No, not yet. So do you believe you have a soulmate out there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, and I believe we can have more than one. Okay. For sure. Oh my gosh, do I? I don't know. Somewhere out there. Maybe. Do you believe you have. Maybe more than one. <laughs> so you believe you can have multiple soulmates? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I used that? to. I used to believe that there was only one soulmate. Mm -hmm. Then I got my heart broken. <laughs> so the heartbreak caused that? Mm, now I think that it's definitely possible to have more than one soulmate. Okay. And I also think that soulmates can be not necessarily lovers only. Okay. Like a best friend can be a soulmate, yeah. Or like a, t you know. How would you know if somebody's your soulmate? How, how do you? How I, the thing is though, my issue is, I don't know, dude. For me, it's very easy to start liking people. So then sometimes I'm like, no, this is the love of my life. Then I'm like, ah, oh, wait, let me pause. Yeah, so now I don't even know. Like, At some point, I feel like I'd have to take a little bit, like a while until you go like, holy shit, like this person's my soulmate. Yeah. At least that's what I imagine yeah. it's like. Because sometimes you can be in a relationship and like six months in you're like, 
this is fun, but I don't think it's gonna last forever. Yeah, that song really doesn't have to be a soulmate all the time. Yeah, you know? it can be a timely An thing. Experience. You know? Do you think you guys would know if somebody's your soulmate? I think so. Yeah. Okay. How, how how do you think you would know? I think you just have that feeling when you just click with somebody. Okay. Yeah, I agree. You'll definitely know. But you can click with somebody that you date with. Not like that. Yeah, but it's different. Yeah. I don't know. You just know, you know? <laughs> yeah. You just know. Okay. Your mind. Yeah. <laughs> this is scary. You want him out while you're at it. Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. You said you have a soulmate, so how do you how do you know that he is the I don't know. Like if you keep on going back after you guys break up, I feel like that's your soulmate. Mm -hmm. You know? How about you? I don't know, I feel like you just know. Like you just know. Yeah. Maybe like a different feeling that you're gonna feel. Yeah, I think there's a spark there, like a little fire that's like, oh, uh, if the spark, spark never dies. Yeah. So like, even when you guys are old and you still feel nervous around each other and that kind of thing, like, I'm sure that's your soulmate. And you're comfortable. Guys, comfortable. How would you know if somebody's your soulmate? I think I would just know. Or maybe I wouldn't. That, that's it. I don't know how I would know. I either would or I wouldn't. I wanna be do you think most people who are in relationships are with their soulmates or they just settle for what they can get? Your soulmate can be anywhere. Your soulmate can be anywhere. Not here in the thrift market anyway. <laughs> um, so? I think some people are in relationships just so that they don't have to be alone. Okay. But I think that time will tell eventually whether that's your soulmate or not. Yeah. Same thing with me. Like you, you really need to get to know the person before you decide whether or not they're your soulmate or not. I think that you can grow to be like... Mm -hmm. The closer you get to people, the more you like them like sometimes you think someone's not that hot and then like you become friends with them you like learn their personality and you're like actually I think this person's attractive like you can learn to some people grow into being soulmates okay okay so what's a it's not like a thing that you're <laughs> fucking born as <laughs> everyone's born a baby so mm -hmm. yeah you just grow into a person who might be compatible with another person and you do your best to find that and if you're still with someone after a long time maybe you're a soulmate Otherwise, you'd have just stopped being together. Okay. Hopefully. So. Hope. Yeah. Hopefully, you can learn that this person is not for you, or how to be compatible with this person in a way that makes you a better person, in a way that doesn't stress you out. Mm -hmm. And then you can be soulmate. So, how do you know that your boyfriend is your soulmate? Cause, guys, even though we cheat on each other, we still come back. So. Yeah. You don't tell <laughs> How many times it has it happened? I don't know. Like I really don't know, guys. On your side? I don't know, guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, do you think most people that are in relationships have, are with their soulmates, or do they settle for what they get? I feel like they probably settle. If you're not with your ex, then you're settling. Huh? Huh? What are your thoughts on that? Um, if it's your ex, right? Okay, her example, right? I think you're just clinging on to scraps of affection. So it's like the bare minimum. The bar's low. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know. I think it's like they're your ex for a reason. So, like, they should be left in the bar. No, the chapter in your life is finished. You have nothing to learn from them anymore. Don't you want to learn from your soulmate? Me, I love my soul. I mean, I love my ex. <laughs> and like, he's, he's my soulmate. <laughs> Soulmates. Yo, tough questions. <laughs> I'm not sure about that one. I think a lot of people do settle and because they're scared of being alone. Okay. Yeah. And maybe because they really want to have a soulmate, yeah, and maybe, yeah, but at the end of the day, we all die alone, so. What's the best way to break up with someone? In person and nice, in person and nicely, mm -hmm. not messaging them, yeah. You never broke up with somebody over text? Nope. 
I have never Many broken times. up with anyone. <laughs> Many times, but I think with a special person, you need to like sit down with them in person and be like, see, this is what we need to get through, and this is why it's not working out. So, how about you? I think you could sometimes, depending on the relationship, call someone and just be like, it's not working. Yeah, if you're arguing the whole time, why must you meet up just to break up? Yeah. But so if it's a question, are they really a soulmate if you're going through all of this? No, it doesn't have to be a soulmate, it can be somebody that... Yeah, but they're random. In person. In person. Mm -hmm. So what's the worst way, worst way you've done it? I've never broken up with anyone. So you've never dated anybody? No. Oh, everybody broke up with you? No. So what then? I've never been in a long-term relationship, so that's why I was like, these questions don't mean anything to me. Whatever you prefer, offer text, in person. Me, personally, I think, okay, in person, it's good, but then I do it over text, because like, I can't look you in the eye and be like, yeah. How about you? Face to face, I need to see your facial expressions and how you're receiving my words, and I'll just say, ah, this is not looking good, it's not working, and then 